All right, so today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how to hotwire this truck. Oh, wait a second. Sorry, camera's a little bit out of frame. Today we're gonna work on hot wiring this truck, making it a lot faster. I will make it run faster. Good job. Whoa. All right, we're gonna be converting the power wheels from the, the standard 12 volt um, to a 20 volt uh, lithium battery, which is gonna give us a lot more power. It doesn't have to be DeWalt. You can use any um, 18, 20 volt system or even the 60 volt systems. Um, basically, it's just gonna get you longer runtime with the higher voltage and higher amperage. So this, this was not a branded power wheels. This is a Tonka trunk version because of that it doesn't have the proprietary power wheels connection which is going to make this a little bit easier because we have just standard electrical connections at the end that we, we can take advantage of as far as supplies and tools for this some electrical tape some electrical pliers okay so these are the three pieces you need this one is a voltage controller because the battery is so much more powerful. You're going to be able to want to modulate the voltage, especially if you have a younger child. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need, and this isn't 100% necessary, you can connect the, um, the terminal leads directly directly to the battery. This just makes it a little safer. So you, you there's a variety of these on, on Amazon. This one just happens to be 3D printed. It looked like the nicest and it, the beauty of this is it slides in and locks into the battery so it's it's nice nice and secure um, the other thing you need is you need a 30 amp inline fuse i had bought one separate but the charge controller i bought actually ended up coming with one so really all you need is this charge controller and some type of connection to the battery and then you're done now also just to make everything nice and clean i had some electrical connections and the uh, the shrink wrap to make sure everything's watertight because my son does get this thing very wet that said let's start putting it together all right to start off i'm going to take the inline fuse and i'm going to add it to the um, battery terminal um, on the positive line so the red wire i'm just going to do this with a uh, butt connector that um, shrinks when uh, heat's applied to it to keep the connection um, watertight. Okay, next I'll take um, two spade connectors and I'll attach both the, the positive and the negative leads from the battery connector to the voltage controller. Uh, the voltage controller has four connection points, a positive and negative that will come in from the battery and then a, a positive and a negative that will go out to the motor. Um, all four are, are clearly labeled, um, so it's, it's pretty simple. Just remember that red is positive and black is negative. So that actually completes all of the electrical connections um, outside of the power wheels. Now, the only thing left to do is to connect the charge controller to the power wheels itself. So that is really, really straightforward. All you're gonna do is remove the electrical connectors that are already in your power wheels. Um, here I just have a couple of standard blade connectors, but if, if you have actual power wheels, you can just go ahead and clip off the, um, the proprietary connector that's there. Or if, if you want to keep that so you can use the original battery, um, you can just splice into the, um, to the power and into the, the neutral line um, so that you can make the connection to the, um, to the charge controller. So for this connection, I'm just using two more um, spade connectors. And as I said before, the, the charge controller is, is clearly labeled, so it's, it's really easy to connect the appropriate wires to the, the appropriate places on the charge controller. Uh, once you have this screwed in, then you have everything set up and you're ready to uh, test out your power wheels. Why? We're going to. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, now. Oh, well, we need a battery first. Okay. So I didn't secure any of this stuff into the power wheels, and I'm really glad that I had not. Um, full disclosure, after about 
five, ten minutes of, of my son driving around on this thing. Um, right after I had enough video to make this video, works, we'll we'll the voltage in. regulator actually we'll just in, so straight up around. died. Okay. Um, so I, I ended up because. swapping it out um, for another one that, that I ordered a few days later. That's... So here's a picture of what the, the final assembly ended up looking like. And um, in the description for the components, the um, the link is to the, the new voltage controller that I ended up with, not the original one that you see here. Ooh, okay. Now, hold on, do it again. Okay. Okay, one more time, do it. Push pedal. Okay, now hold on. Okay, now try it. Push the pedal again. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on one more time. Okay, push the pedal. Push the pedal. Just push it. We're, we're gonna fix it. Don't worry. We just gotta test it. All right. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Is that too fast? Yeah. Too, let me slow it down a little bit. Okay. No, hold on. It's already in low. Can you get up for a second? I got to get underneath you. There you go. That's good. What? He's stuck? Are you gonna are you gonna pull him out? I just need a rope. We need a rope? Yeah, but this thing don't have a rope. No. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked the video, uh, click the thumbs up button. And if you uh, like the content of uh, the channel, please uh, subscribe as well.